morning. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I am Pastor Joe Fox, and I have some exciting stuff to share with y'all. Sort of. Stay tuned. Q train kept a rolling, live version. And all the things. Okay. Hey, we're back. <laughs> hey, I made a watermelon wine video a little bit down. If you just search my videos, not that far back there. Got a lot of comments, a lot of naysayers, those who are not actually in the arena, telling me how I messed it all up and it wasn't going to work and it too much sugar. Hmm. Well, uh, as you can imagine, if you've watched the last couple videos, kind of forgot about the wine for a while. Came back, thought it might be vinegar. It was not vinegar. Uh, it's good. And so, let me show you my update. We're still working it. Here's the what I got out of the gallon of wine I made. Now, you'll notice a, a clear, less clear, less clear, and it looks like, a, what is that, tomato sauce or tomato super juice or something here's what i did normally i think normally when one makes wine like i know what i'm talking about <laughs> but i had the impression that all the uh, fruit chunks would sink to the bottom well in my case the all the watermelon stuff was floating near the top and so what i wanted to do was stick like a tube like an aquarium tube or surgical tubing or something like that down into the bottle and uh, suck it off from underneath the must. I believe that's called must. Uh, yeah, we don't have a tube. I don't have time to get one. I've got a lot of things to do today that don't involve this, but I didn't want this sitting around like it was. And so I poured it uh, through a canning funnel into these canning jars with some cheesecloth, the same cheesecloth type stuff I used before. And so that's why it's clear, less clear, less clear. Um, we tasted it. Oh. A lot of people said it's gonna be really sweet wine, and I don't really like sweet wine. I'm a Merlot, Cab Sauv kind of guy. Um, it's not that sweet. Uh, I just had like a straw full of it. All right, dog, get, I'm making a video. Go on. Puppy. Um, it definitely has a kick to it. Oh, wow. Uh, I need to get one of those strips. You can get strips that, uh, let you t know how much alcohol content in it. it it's stout. <laughs> it, it definitely has alcohol in it. I could tell by tasting it. And it tastes, now I was tasting off of this stuff right here. Um, it tastes like watermelon. Not like <sighs> watermelon, but you can, you can tell that there's watermelon in it, that it, it's created from watermelon. This stuff down here on the end, I don't know if we're gonna be able to drink it. I smelled the bottle when we got down to that part, and uh, it, it has a yeasty smell to it, so it might not be good. Um, but we're gonna put these in a cool place. I've sealed them up and uh, let them continue to do what they do. Hopefully they'll settle out even more, and then by then I'll have a tube and I'll you know siphon off the top of it and so we have nice clear wine. Uh, but it's not too sweet. And again, I don't like sweet wine, so I would tell you if it was. And it definitely has a kick. So it made alcohol uh, from watermelons we grew here on the land. First year we've ever been able to successfully grow watermelons, and we did really well. And here it is, what, November 8th? And I'm going to go pick another watermelon today. I think it'll be good. Um, probably won't do a video on that. You guys are probably getting tired of watermelons. But November, and I'm picking a watermelon? If this is global warming, give me more. <laughs> All right. Hey, watermelon wine update. I'll let you know. We'll probably have a little party eventually in a month or so, and uh, we'll let the saints tell you what they think about it. All right. Hey, do what you can with what you got where you are. Be careful today. I'll see you all out there.